YouTube. It is I, Sir Karma, coming to you with a little 2v2 action here. That's right, so we're taking a break from the Road of Trials just for this week. Uh, you'll find out why later. Uh, there'll be a thing we'll tell you about. But anyways, um, yeah, we're, we're taking a break. Just John doesn't have the time. Well, I'll tell you right now, John doesn't have the time. And uh, yeah, i got to do something this week. I'm a little busy. So we're going to do some regular tests. This time it's a 2v2. I am myself am head of the Empire, and we got a little, you know, the, the, the Alliance of Men and Dwarves marches again against the Kingdom of Cygors. So we're going to see, I want to say, eight Cygors this game. So our opponents here brought a double Malagor for Cygor build. My god. So it's, you know, true uh, uh, Mark of Slaanesh Beastman here, just true excess. Um, so what are we going to see on my side here? We are going to see um, some spearmen in the front line. Just to soak up charges, and obviously some halberdiers who are doing better at soaking up charges and deal with um, uh, larger units like a uh, minotaurs. We have uh, some free company militia who I think do quite well in this matchup because they can kill uh, chaff, and minotaurs don't have that much armor. What are their armor like? Forty something, thirty-five. So yeah, they're going to be very good in that matchup. And then flagellants who will kill their chaff. So not a lot of uh, elite infantry at all. Uh, just some Sigmar Sons and one Great Sword, just in case they brought some Bestigors. They'll do okay against Bestigors, especially as they've taken the charge into my other units that can negate charges, like Halberdiers. I also have a Lore of Light, a Jade Wizard rather, so a Lore of Life with a Arc Lector, and I'm going to pair them up with the Steam Tank. Yeah, look at this glorious guy go. He looks like a, um, he's got a little, looks like a, like a, like a, like a, what am I, what am I trying to say? Star Wars, like the Empire, like an Empire machine, obviously. A little, look how poorly the rendering is done. I don't know why my computer's on ultra settings. In any case, all right, so, so that's my army. Uh, Avoid over here has, uh, the dude, uh, Thorgrim Grudgebear, on his wonderfully, um, uh, detailed throne being carried by four dwarves who, uh, look at this poor guy, this poor bald man. I can relate. So much hair below, but none above. Uh, over these guys, I don't know, they're spitting, I don't know what's going on here. They're spitting brew. Um, War of Dragonfire Pass, you know, classic. Norgrim's Iron Breakers. Some Rangers with Great Weapons in the back line. Some Dragonback Slayers, regular Slayers. Some Longbeard Great Weapons. So pretty standard dwarf build. And then a Runesmith. On our opponent's side, of course, an excess amount of, excessive amount of um, uh, Cygors. Uh, some... Uh, we got some Minotaurs in the background here. We got the Beast Slayer, Men Slayers, rather. Korok's Man Rippers. We got some Bestigore Herd in the woods. Uh, yeah, pretty classic build. So it's just very heavy infantry, some spears, and then Cygors. So really, there's, and then Minotaurs, of course, deal with Cav. So they're going to try and decimate our infantry with their Cygors, summon up more Cygors, use the best of course to clean up everything else, and then use the Minotaurs to deal with our Cav. So we'll see how that goes. And then they've got some shit in the background here. Some Centaurs, great weapons, and the like. All right, in any case, let's get the battle started. So we're rolling up, literally here, in the case of the steam tank. But as you can see, bricks are coming in and just smashing these Preermen. One shot already. They're down, what, 18 models? And a good chunk of health. And then here comes another one. So they are just wrecking our guys. Uh, that one was a clean miss from the... <laughs> I have more slip, pardon me, luckily enough, Burp Hammer there. But uh, they are going to be able to harass us as we move up. With the Sons of Goros over here, the Sons of Goros great weapons regular. And of course they are hidden in the woods. So they're going to be able to do some harassment, and they're going to be doing a lot of damage here. Um, that, again, the, the more slub misses again, which is surprising. Good thing is, he's hitting, he's focusing on my infantry, which is weaker than uh, avoids. So, uh, we're getting lucky there, so the dwarves will be okay. I send these guys out front, there's really no difference whether they, wherever they go. Um, we are going good damage to the, uh, I have more slub with the cannon, but we aren't going to want to leave him to, out here too long. He'll be much more effective in the front line, just doing damage. Uh, so now they've decided to spring the trap, or at least we found them. Uh, and we know they're there, so we're going to send these guys in there. I don't know what I was thinking. This, ha this battle happened a long time ago, so I have no idea about my thinking. But as you can see over here, these great swords are already wrecked. Um, he's going to come in here. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing with my Jade Wizard. Maybe trying to hide him? But he's trying to get in the background here. Uh, so we're, he's going to try and get some charges in. We are going to get shots as they're moving. Quite cool. Uh, it's quite, quite cool. But we are going to try and get some full surrounds. Um, of course, the bigger the blobs, the better it is for their guns. These guys are going to come all around my uh, steam tank. But I'm actually okay with that because they will fear tear up. But they are doing tons of damage. Oh my god, they're doing so much damage. So right away, we're just in, we're in, we're in trouble here. Uh, we have no cav. He has all the fast-moving troops. We're doing almost no damage. What is the melee attack on this guy here? So 30, and they have 20. So it's not doing great. Uh, but I'm going to get a nice cast here of um, final, or whatever it's not, final transportation. Dwellers below. So that's going to do tons of damage and just absolutely save the steam tank because that giant blob is getting decimated now. So that actually, initially an unfavorable engagement turned in our favor. They're going to charge in, but the hard collectors here and get some background um, rear charges. So they are losing a lot of these guys here. Um, the Gorgs Man Rivers, they have been able to get rid of one militia, but that's okay. Meanwhile, Avoid's forces have pretty much come up unharried. 
Although, we, are, we do have some big blobbing over here, which is not good. I was too busy um, microing the background here. But I get a nice, fat, big heal on all these guys. And I'm using the, the Grand Shield of Faith, so everything's pretty much protected. And we've wiped out most of his... Um, most of his Senegor forces, although a lot of my units are in the back here doing nothing. Now uh, this guy did get a regrowth on him, so he's going to come back pretty much to full health. But yeah, we get a lot. We got a lot of kills here. Uh, these guys have returned. We're getting some shots here, fighting the flagellants. A very good matchup for us. Um, their stats aren't great, and of course they they have 70 armor. I didn't know that the Sons of Goros had 70 armor, so maybe not so great for the flagellants. But still, we we don't mind that trade. And obviously we're getting shots out with the Free Company militia. Uh, these guys I have to reactivate. I don't know if I will reactivate them in time. Does not seem that it doesn't appear that I will. So they're going to get a nice rear charge right in there. That's pretty terrible. Over in the front line, um, Avoid's pushing in hard. He's doing a lot of damage. He's killing all these uh, Bestigors. He's soaking up the charges with the Miners as he should. He does have these Ultra Raiders just doing tons of damage um, across the front line. And my Spears are just there to muck them up. Um, but it's not looking great for us, as you can see. We do have a few shooters in there. They should be shooting at Centigors. Uh He does bring these guys in here trying to get some rear charges. But we do the, turn them around in time. And we're going to look how much uh, damage we're doing. And then there's so few units left to charge that they do get a lot of good damage. But they're going to take damage in return. And then, of course, we do have this... Um, Jade Wizard who's going to come in and help out. So that's pretty good for us. And our infantry's coming back. He, uh, sorry, moving forward. He does have these Senegors who have recovered. He's forgotten these ones. Um, it's impossible to tell who which one's which because uh, they're both Beastmen. But uh, yeah, so they're going to try and come back and hit us in the back line. But we're okay. We just have Spears back there. We're going to be all right. We did get rid of these Senegors. We are losing. Uh, we did lose our Great Swords, which makes sense. They are fighting Destroyers of the Drakwald, who I think do poison. They do. I think they have such good stats. And combined with Bestigor Herd, that's just a bad, bad matchup for us. But Avoid's flank is moving pretty well. As you can see, it's about it's still quite even in the balance bar. But yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of, lot of things going on. I actually like my opponents. I mean, eight Senegors is a little much. So let's count how many Senegors we got on the field right now. We'll just go slow motion. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Five Senegors, and I think they are going to summon up. Oh, six. Six Senegors on the field at one time. <laughs> uh, I think this one's a summon. I think it is. Uh, this one is indeed... Is it a summon? How do I, where, where, would I, where would I see that? Let's see here. Soul Eater. That's pretty cool. I know they did that. No, so this one's not a summon. One of these has to be a summon. How do you tell? This guy's a summon right there. Yeah, this guy's a summon. So he's got the little blue thing around him. That makes sense. Yeah, unbinding. Cool. So yeah, a couple of summons. We were able to get rid of one of them. That was mainly a void with his throwing axes. And we're just jumbled in there. I mean, with, with uh, Thorgrim Grunge Bear in there, though, he's actually turning the tide in their favor, especially with these Norgrim and those Iron Breakers. Uh, but anyways, let's get back to the fight here. So he's now pushing through into my into my infantry. We were able to kill pretty much all his um, all his Senegors, but we're getting good shots there. Uh, we're going to charge in with Sigmar's Sons, who will... You know, it's a decent fight for them. Uh, they'll get through a little bit, but we do have this little goon squad still pretty healthy. Uh, all things considered. Uh, these guys, I sort of lose micro on for a second, but I will I will pull them back just right now as I say that. Um, what else do I have on the field? Anything else, really? No. Uh, so he's got some Senegors that come back. Of course, they're going to be very dangerous for our back line. But as he's trying to deal with me with these Senegors, Avoid is just doing a good job on the front line of just pushing through and getting around with his Slayers into these Senegors and trying to help us out because these rocks are devastating. And unfortunately, Avoid does uh, uh, put them together. This is not a good fight for our Flagellants, but better them than our Free Company Militia. Uh, over here, we're you know we do have the terror in, we do have the um, magic in, and uh, not a whole lot of armor piercing, but that's okay. Uh, between the t the terror and the running in of the steam tank and the heals, we should be okay. Not to mention the arc collector is going to help out here. So I have these spearmen here chasing these guys out. Just want to get them off the field. Nothing else they can really do. There are still a thousand Senegors just throwing rocks left and right. Um, these ones have come back. So on the field right now, there are one, two, three, four, five, six. These one, uh, I think a new one will be summoned at some point. No, seven. Sorry, there were seven Senegors on the field at once, but there will be more, of course, because they brought the dub a double Malagor build. So truly an excessive amount of Senegors. So right now it's not looking great for us, you wouldn't think. Um, but we were able to tear out these guys off, and as they're going to be teared out, we're just going to chase them off with a steam tank and do some damage. Yeah, it's not looking fantastic. Their infantry obviously is getting crushed by um, a void. Uh, due to the help of the axe throwers and um, the runesmith and of course Thorgrim. But other than that, we're not doing so great. Uh, these, the, there's a lot of healthy Senegors and they're still throwing rocks and doing a lot of damage. These uh, Minotaurs are still very healthy. Um, these guys are getting chopped up now by the Flagellants, which is quite nice, and those Tatter Souls, but still, it's not looking great for us. Uh, over here, these guys have come back, but again, fighting the Sumar Sons alongside his team tank, they will eventually rout, and we're going to like that. And again, I just have my very weak units charging off and trying to get rid of these guys. So the Spearmen did over there, and that's what these Halberdiers will be doing over here. They'll be getting up on these booties, uh, these nice, nice horse booties. Uh, let's see, right there, and they're just going to start chopping them down. 
Uh, and this is a great battle for Flagellants, obviously. They're fighting uphill, and they're going to flee almost immediately uh, and run away with those horse booties. Put them to good use. And then we've also managed to get rid of these guys, and they're now fully routing. There are some Senna or some Minotaurs coming through, but we do have the Arc Lector and the Sigmar Suns and some cannons going into them, so that's good. And Flagellants actually won't do terrible against them because of their lack of armor and pretty weak melee defense. Uh, over here, Avoid ha has managed to route off a Malagor. This Runesmith's going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, mono a mono against this very weakened... Um, uh, Saigor, who has 50 armor, so that might be okay against this guy. So I don't know who would win this fight, because they, they have about the same health. Oh, big hit from the runesmith, though, and that's going to send him home, so I guess that answers our question. This guy's going home, too. Malagor's being chased off, and now it's starting to go in our favor. With the Malagor's defeated, this one's fighting against Thorgrim, not a fight he wants to be in. This summon will go down, and he's fighting Norgrimlings, Ironbreakers, not a good fight. And these Dragonback Slayers are just chopping away at this one. We have some Spears now coming in. Pretty much all his uh, his um, other units have been chased off by my army in the back line, and it's looking like an Empire and Dwarf victory at this point as the um, Balance Bar continues to swing in our favor. So good little play from us here. Uh, I made some mistakes, uh, sort of the void, but we end up uh, the good guys won. Look how look, look at those shimmering corpses, beautiful. Look at that, like diamonds in the like diamonds in the sky. I guess in the water, like diamonds in the water. We're like prospectors here. And flashlights kind of look like old timey prospectors a little bit. If old timey prospectors were, were mixed with like BDSM bishops. Uh, yeah, pretty interesting combination. That's my fan fiction. Look for it on the shelves. Uh, uh, 2019. So here we go with the steam tank. He's coming in here. He's going to pretty much deal with the rest of these Bestigore herds. They have no chance against him. With that fear and terror. Not to mention the Arc Lector is a very good combination with the, the steam tank. I don't know how competitive it is, but yeah, with the with the buffs that he can give to the steam tank and the heals. And then of course you have Dwellers Below, which can decimate units in that, in that circle if you need. Uh, it's good stuff. Although, speaking of which, uh, our Jade Wizard has been caught. But I don't. I think I will turn them around. Yeah, I will turn them around and try and get some shots onto these uh, minotaurs, and they will be doing good damage if they hit. Let's see. Fire. I don't know. Maybe they will fire. Maybe they won't. You guys want to fire? Let's see. Let's see how much damage we're gonna do with their double pistols. Oh yeah. You know. And there's there's not that many models left. Only 21 models. So that's enough actually to send them home, and that'll be the end of the game here. So good stuff uh, from 2v2 from Avoid and I. Uh, Avoid <laughs> against Funky Cat and Alza Alzin Telemitar. Yeah, so they brought pretty almost identical builds, really. I guess this guy does not have the DLC? No, but the, the was, DLC was free. So they brought, oh, I guess kind of lore-friendly in that. Weird. So they didn't bring any duplicate regiments of renown, but they did bring two Malagors. So strange. I guess they were trying to go lore-friendly if the lore had Malagor having a clone. I don't know. Are clones allowed in, in Warhammer? I don't know. Someone, someone informed me. Other than that, let's see how our army did. Arc Lector, obviously a good buffing unit. Flagellant's pretty decent. This I actually like my build. Um, I think it could work against a lot of Beastman builds, but not really, actually. It'd be hard. You'd be hard-pressed to fight a lot of Senegores and all that stuff, but yeah, Beastmen's are tough for um, for NPR. But yeah, we, we performed as, as well as we should, really. Uh, some of these Flagellants got picked off by their Senegores, which is no good, but uh, everything else did all right. And the Steam Tank was a true hero. Two Chevrons alongside these guys was a good little goon squad. Avoids army. Thorgrim went in there, Runesmith went in there, and they just messed up the front lines, um, being buffed by the Grumbling Guard alongside the Stalwart uh, infantry line that is the Norglim's Eyebreakers. They were able to just cut through the pretty meager um, infantry core of my reports. I mean, six Bestigors isn't quite meager, but again, this is 2v2, and they were fighting across a large line. And with the debuff, they will go down. Uh, obviously, hundreds of kills on the Senegors, as you expect. 139 on more celebs. Um, the, uh, sorry, on the, uh, Saigors, rather. The Senegors did their job as well, mucking up my back line, but some of them were dealt with pretty effectively. And then, I'm not a big fan of Korok's Man Rippers. I've never seen them perform very well, but I haven't really tried them out too much. We'll have to save that for Beastman Week. In any case, thanks guys for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this little 2v2 action. There's more to come, and I'll see you around the bend.